I don't never seen you in an off season before, but <laughs> seeing you sitting down, yeah. you look huge. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome, you are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Quentin took a step back to make sure that his progress in the upcoming months goes smoothly. He got a little under the weather and that is why he is down 15 pounds from his heaviest weight. But we all know that would most likely be water. His upper body holds more water compared to his legs. And that is quite impressive leg separation for a guy weighing 310 pounds. And trust me guys, Quentin is on everyone's radar. Nick Walker is seeing this guy coming. Because Quentin is only 26 years old. So he is just starting out. People don't understand. How, you're how old? 27. You're, you're, you're the up and coming. <laughs> People don't understand that. You know, they, they know it. But they're like, yeah, you know, we don't know if we'll ever nail it. The guy has put on 50 pounds of muscle in the last five years and he is gonna make the craziest transformation for this year because this will be a two years long off season for him so Quentin says he wanna be 290 pounds on stage considering he was 267 at Tampa Pro if he can come in like 20 pounds heavier with a little more muscle maturity and similar or maybe better condition that will be a deadly combination at any bodybuilding stage. Front squat is probably one of the most difficult exercises to execute, especially with the heavyweight. And look at Hadi Chopin and his range of motion while doing four plates in his latest training video. He makes it look easy. Hani Rambot has attested to Hadi's strength, and according to him, he is one of the hardest working athlete that he coached throughout his career. And I'm sure all of you guys know Hani has coached some legends of the sport. So Hadi is in his prime time. He will be turning 36 years old in September. And the man has shown no signs of injury or slowing down during these last few years of him chasing that Mr. Olympia title. And Hadi will only get better from this point onwards simply because of the motivation and drive to retain that Mr. Olympia title. Him and Hani played the size game and that turned out beautifully for them last year. No one has a single complaint about his conditioning, especially from the front. He looked a little soft from the back, a little soft. And that is only with respect to his own front or if we compare him to his previous years. And I'm sure they are most likely going to figure that out as well for the Olympia this year. Alfred Churiak and his off-season updates have been looking incredible. This is a guy who was originally a 212 competitor, switched to open bodybuilding, and he did pretty well last year. He was runner-up at Tsunami Cup Italy. So if he brings the right look, he can definitely qualify for the Olympia. That off-season condition is just unreal. I mean, strike it calls, a full six-pack. What else can you ask from a professional? And he is relatively new in the pro ranks. He turned pro in 2019, switched over to open by the end of 2021. So he is still in the process of putting on lean tissue, getting more competitive for men's open bodybuilding. So for the people who complain that the grainy look is missing from today's bodybuilding and today's physiques, well, you guys must follow Alfred. You will find that quality in his physique. The progress he made in the last two years from 212 to the open bodybuilding is enough to prove that he has got a bright future ahead. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.